Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Waslin from JMom Creations. Welcome. Today it is obvious that I will be in the kitchen decorating it for spring and I want to take you all along with me. If you are new, my name is Waslin. I post one video once a week sometimes on Sunday night or early on Monday morning before I head to work and if you are returning, thank you so very much. For stopping by watching another video and I love all things that are beautiful and all things home so let me go ahead as you can see it's obvious that we are in the kitchen and I'm going to take you along and show you how I decorate my kitchen for spring 2024 so let's go ahead and get started first I'm going to conceal this cord that connect the coffee maker these are some beautiful items that I will be using. Some of the items that I will be using in today's video, some of which you have already seen in previous videos or in thrift hauls. So let's go ahead and get started. Over here, I'm going to use all this cutting board, all these cutting boards to create a nice vignette and then to cover this cord that goes into my coffee pot. So all these this one i diy it it used to be that color and i painted i put a, a tape and i painted it white to create this contrast so all of them gonna be the same color this one comes like this this one is old i don't know whether it's old but i had this one for a long time and this one is just a regular regular wood one none of these uh, we use for food all of them that I use on my videos are only for decor purposes only. So this one had a chip right here, which I spray paint um, black. You can even see it, but if I get closer, you will see it. Yeah, it was chip, so I painted it with a black paint. So let's go ahead and add them right here so that way I can cover the cord. Okay, there it is. I add them to cover the cord. I'm more concerned about the cord that is on the counter more or less than this one because whenever we are not using the pot, I like to unplug this and hide it behind there. But I like to like this uncovered because this is where my son he gets the air fryer from the cabinet and he plugs it right here to make his snacks. So I don't like to have this cover this on his way because I need the kitchen to be functional as well as beautiful. So now let's decorate right here the opposite of the stove and that corner right here. So let's go ahead. This is a beautiful mirror tray. I love the rustic look. I love the design in it. So we are going to place it right there next to the lamp and then we are going to decorate that inside the tray i placed this beautiful pot with some scissors and spoon for the kitchen and then next to it i'm going to place this beautiful um salt and pepper shaker and to top it off i'm going to place this beautiful beautiful little bird with some green inside of it I think it looks pretty and very springy so yeah this is all that I'm going to put right here so moving on over here I'm going to place the little uh, box um, art box shadow and I'm just gonna add a few more items right here to create a beautiful vignette this looks very pretty so I found a nice little um, stool I'm going to place it right there in front of the shadow box to create a nice little uh, vignette to continue the vignette I think this is pretty so far I have this beautiful little um, tray it's, it's heavy it's made out of uh, concrete so in there I thrifted these eggs marble eggs so I'm going to place these inside the little uh, turtle tray and these are so 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 pretty they are very heavy as well so I found four 
fun twisting I love the little design each of them has so I'm going to place that inside of it and I'm going to move it to the side so yeah then I'm going to place that little container that I thrifted for only a dollar I'm going to place it next to it so I think this is all this part right here needs I think it is so so beautiful those flowers look so so pretty with the shadow box and I think this is all that this corner needs moving on to this side of the sink right here of the sink so let's go ahead and decorate uh, this right here with my uh, KitchenAid that I purchased from Aldi next to the KitchenAid I have this measuring stand on it I'm going to place these books this one the cozy white cottage was gifted to me by a friend and then I have the country kitchen so I'm going to place that one there and then we are going to add something just right here very very pretty so I have some um, flower um, pot and I have one that broke but anyway I'm going to add that one just right there I found these beautiful flower pots and and uh, sugar and things like that unfortunately I stole it inside my cabinet one of my guests that I have in the house they broke my item so anyway so I'm going to and it's three of them so as you can see it's still some of them still like chip right here right here so yeah but anyway we are going to use it my brother say he can glue glue these for me but we don't know but anyway i'm going to use these these are so pretty when i found that one let me show you i had the the little salt and pepper shaker and then when i found this I'm, oh my god they match very nicely with it first i had these for years these salt and pepper shakers and then i think they are so so pretty i have them for years so when i found that set i was so happy that they are very nicely you know the same um quality and same design so i purchased them so i could use them for spring and summer but unfortunately the top of the big one this one is a, a book so we'll see if my brother can glue them for me so i can still use it if not i'm going to use this to use my uh, as my utensil holders so I can place them on the side of the stove so in case if he doesn't um, if he can't glue it I can always use this as a, a spoon holder it would have looked nice if the flower top wasn't the one who broke it would have been easily fit nicely with the, just the flower and the sugar next to the mixing bowl but unfortunately since the flower top is the one that's messed up so I'm going to just move this over here and then move this right there even though it doesn't make sense with the coffee next to the uh, mixing bowl but but anyway it is what it is at this point right now I love it still so you could just bypass <laughs> the coffee <laughs> written on this bowl so on this part but anyway I love it it looks so cozy so I will figure something out with this one. I think I'm going to move this one and put it next to the stove so that way I can um, place my spoons in there. Let's just try it. I think it's pretty right there. Although it says flower. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty. And I add more spoons to create contrast with the, with the brown with all the white. So I think it looks pretty. So we're gonna stay, leave it like this. So let's move on to the next opposite side of the of the sink. Moving on over here in that corner. So let's go ahead and place something beautiful there. I have this black tray that I keep here all the time. So yeah, I keep this one here all the time, which I thrifted as well. So I place it here as a base, and I'm gonna add all my cookbooks on it. And then a little pot here with some green I have all these books that I like to arrange on the side and you know I like to switch them around based on the season so yeah 
so this is what I'm going to do I'm gonna organize them right here and then we are just gonna top it off this is all how I place all of them I love to see the different colors on the side of the book um, frame so right here is at a vase with some flowers I made this beautiful arrangement I love this little orchid it's of course it's full I twisted that and I added into my Christmas um, fix I use this for Christmas in the kitchen so now I have this little stand which is always there I'm gonna place it on top of it and then we are going to finish over here I have found this beautiful lady I don't know what is it used for but I think she was pretty with her lipstick on and it has this little um, marble made um, with those um, parsley designs and yeah so I figured they were so pretty for spring or any season so I have been placing it right here next to the books I think it looks so, so pretty so nice I love her <laughs> so so much I think she's cute she's very very cute so this is very pretty very nice and I love the little corner right here I am going to switch this art for something more vintage looking so let me go ahead and share with you what I found at the thrift store for $2 this week voila I think this is so so pretty for the kitchen it looks so beautiful I love those concrete vases the pot the flowers very pretty so this is what I'm going to use on the top replacing the other one I found this concrete um, stand which I gave a little coat of paint to highlight the blue so this I'm going to use it it's very heavy I'm going to use it uh, for my dish soap and um my sponges it has a little hole right here for the water to drain from here to there so here is the little concrete bowl which i use as a dish and soap holder so i just washed that little pink uh, dish soap holder and i'm just going to put some dish in soap inside of it and this is how practical this looks i absolutely love it very 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 pretty all right guys i made a few changes which you will see so enjoy today's video now let me share with you how the kitchen turned out i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give today's video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you are new my name is Roslyn. i post one video once a week sometimes on sunday night or early on monday morning and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i hope today's video was inspired to you to create something beautiful in your kitchen it does not have to cost a lot of money by moving and switching or getting things from thrift stores and i hope today's video was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching again i will see you in the next one until next time stay safe and be blessed bye y'all